All right, Reese, thank you. Game day is in Lubbock for the first time ever, and they are ready to roll here in this huge game between Kansas and Texas Tech. Welcome to Saturday Primetime, presented by AT&T. It is a game that will go a long way towards determining who is the champion of the regular season here in the Big 12. The Jayhawks and the Red Raiders coming up. win the Big 12, you have to go through Kansas. Here comes Devontae Graham. Got it! Big time play! Kansas keeps it all locked, you feel me? Texas Tech will not back down. Evans. Yes! Game over! This is their time to try to win the Big 12. Look out, y'all. It's blockbuster time. Let's ball! This is an ESPN Sonic Blockbuster. And is it ever? A lot on the line here today. A win for the Jayhawks today. They clinch at least a share of the Big 12 regular season championship. That would be 14 in a row. That would be an all-time Division I record in any league. They're a game up on Texas Tech right now. The Red Raiders have lost two in a row, but they thumped the Jayhawks at Allen Fieldhouse back Holy smokes, is it loud in this place right now here in Lubbock. Ready to go, and we're ready for the tip of our Sonic Blockbuster. Jerry Pollard, Ray Natillion, and Patrick Adams, the officials, and it's the visiting Jayhawk. The offensive glass is Zaire Smith, but he can't convert. Crowd wants a foul. They won't get it. Well, a terrific job by Devontae Graham to come from behind, and in the first game these two teams played, Kansas didn't get any 50-50 ball. Culver misses the long jumper. That was a settle for Texas Tech. They want to drive the ball, get into the paint, get to the rim. Devontae Graham knocks down. Tech has not run good offense. They run motion offense. It's Bob Knight's motion, and they have not gotten good shots. Azubuki discards Hamilton. 97% from the floor on the season by far. The best in the country. Zaire Smith, step back, off wow. balance, and he knocked. He's a world-class athlete. Couple more subs for Texas Tech, including Keenan Evans going to the bench. So Azubuki's being used as a screener, and then you can come off that screen, and you've got nothing but open space off the screen. Oh, one through four likes to switch. They're switching with everybody but Azubuki. Francis, nice look to Hamilton. Ask it if he doesn't come out. Hamilton can knock that shot down. Nice. Great pass. Mikhailu off to... And giving the ball up for a great shot. That's not just the extra pass, that's the right pass. Shots are falling at both ends. But Sean Miller says that as it's fully investigated, he expects to be vindicated. That was part of the statement that was just put out by the University of Arizona. So interesting times right now in college. Again, so I'm sure that Dave Pashville, Walton, and crew will have a lot uh, on that situation. In terms of Sean Miller, as Hamilton misses the three, another offensive rebound for Kansas. Bill Self may not go beyond seven. Another offensive rebound, this time by Hamilton. Right into the chest of We're doing it right now without Keenan Evans. We have no way of knowing how much that toe is bothering him, but he went out three minutes into the game. He has and so they're gonna be they're gonna have fresh bodies out there all the time, and that's gotta be part of the strategy for Chris Beard is to try about fifteen thousand here. It is a sellout at United Supermarkets Arena, and it is a loud crowd here. Crowd wanted to travel, don't get it, and McKay Jack Smith has returned as well. You can hear the chant of defense. They love this team's defensive effort. Great ball movement, and an open look for McKay Luke. Azubuki kicks it back out. What a fake. Lob, slam. Wilson, seven to shoot. Stevenson, a three-point attempt, well short. Ball's live, and up and in, another offensive rebound. And down shots. They got the lead on the road early. Well, Texas Tech has to do a better job of guarding the three-point line. That's now six of second half of that game. And Tech lost a very close one. And they lost against Oklahoma State during the week when he played, but was clearly not himself. Kansas looked like a, a better team to you now than they did earlier in the season? Everybody looks good when they're making shots. Yeah. But the answer is <laughs> of an interior presence like they normally have. Yeah, normally they're three around two big guys and get the ball inside like, what a sh with them. These passes are just so easy right now for Kansas. 
What a rebound and put back by McCaffrey. State did, and they made crazy, unbelievably quick and good shots. But Kansas is dominating this game. On and I know we talk about Jalen Brunson being National Player of the Year, but the way Devontae Graham leads is like none other in college basketball. What have you seen nationwide so far today? It's a glass right now. Evans gets to the foul line, kicks to Stevenson, kept that toe down. Now drives, forces it up, and tipped in. Okay, here comes the double. Otherwise, he would have gone right into his chest. Gamble by Smith, and Garrett oh. makes him pass. 2-3 zone. Well, it looked like a 2-3 zone. It was man. Culver for three. Bothers him. He feels off balance all the time. Mikhailu. Oh. Grab that with two hands. Mikhailuk is open. And it's going to... Ball screen, Evans inside, Odiasi, and a finish. Good catch, and over his right shoulder, can't finish the left-hand hook. Got away with the walk there. Evans. Yes! Pass. Lightfoot with a block. And Mitch Lightfoot is a really good shot blocker. Excellent timing. Most of it comes from the weak side. Again, how good is Gray as well? Check ball. Well, Kansas just can't get any offensive rebounds without Azubuki in there. Culver goes the distance. Play the winner on that exchange. Well, athleticism runs in the family for Culver. His brother Trey was a senior here at Texas Tech, two-time NCAA indoor high jump champion. Good nice. pass. And Lightfoot by Odiasi, but it won't go down. Well, Texas Tech getting a lot of second looks. Kansas's first shot defense hasn't been bad, but they're giving up a lot of second chances. Graham with a chance. Shot clock running down. Stevenson kicks it out. Smith, or Culver rather, knocks down the... Become an even better shooter than he is now. Those two freshmen, Culver and Smith, are two leading scorers in the game. So getting good shots. That shot by Vic was not a good shot a couple possessions ago. 2-3 zone. Francis for first spot. And each team with two games remaining after this one. Not a fan of that dome cam they just showed. Yeah, but Doug Holmes is. And it... There's a deflection for Zaire Smith. Graham with two on the shot clock. Buries the desperation. Vic, but Culver's got it with five to shoot. Francis with a huge three. Onto the dance. Always got to watch Lob when Vic is in the corner. Great head fake, great pass fake, then the kick. Boy, look at these two handle the ball. I mean, that's just at all times. And the ball moves, they keep driving. That's going to give kick opportunities. They have really stretched the defense out. Great pass. That back and rushed it. Evans thought about it, passed up the three. Culver won't. Got it! There it is. Smith. One point game. Or look opposite. Francis. Smith! As a book, he wants to give it to somebody and he gives it to Gray. Good decision. That's who I'd want the ball <laughs> in the hands of. Graham's calling out a play. Shot clock's running down. He wow. does it again. A long time. Patience from the Jayhawks and the ball in the hands of the senior Devontae Graham. Ball on a string. Drives. Forces up a player. That They're just not. Kind of plays the kind of game that wins you potentially Big 12 point than the rest of his teammates here in the second half. And Mikhailuk makes this. and Canada. There you go. Nicely done. Good save. Zaire Smith at the line. Passing and catching. As you know, Texas Tech is going to come after this. Trying to steal it without regard to foul. They have to foul. It's a champion. Yeah. 
14 regular season titles in a row. They would clinch at least a share with a win today. Makes it a two possession game if this goes in. And it does. They're going to press just to slow the advance. Just don't foul if you're Kansas. Culver gets to the rim, down to two. No pressure on the ball. Two defenders on Graham. It's into the hands of Newman. They can't get the foul. And the Kansas Jayhawks have clinched at least a share of the Big 12 regular season championship. 14 conference titles in a row. That is a first in the history of Division I men's college basketball. What All right, Devontae. Officially 14 in a row. You said you didn't want to be the weak leak in the chain, so how does it feel to hear that now? It's an unbelievable feeling right now. Uh, I can't even describe it. Uh, we did something that a lot of people didn't think we was going to do, and I'm just happy for my teammates, coaching staff, all the fans, everybody. You seemed unconscious at the end of this game. Late in the game, late in the shot clock, it didn't matter. I mean, what was working for you down the stretch? Uh, I just just wanted to win. Uh, just trying to make plays for my team. Coach kept telling me to get the ball downhill, drive it, get fouled, and then my teammates found me for some open shots. All right, put your follow through up and walk off this court because you're a champion yet again, Devontae. Thank you. I appreciate that. Always got a smile on his face. Makes his coach smile a lot as well. Big win for Kansas as they win here at Lubbock. Time now to go to Durham. Bob Wischusen, Dickie V, Syracuse, and Duke.